Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, JDC family. And welcome to the Road to 900 giveaway build. Now, this was the uh, blind bag you guys voted on. It was a uh, Road to 904. I looked through the cars. I picked out the one that I thought was going to be the best build, and it turned out to be the IMSA Mustang that definitely had a good life. Um, somebody somebody had their time with this car, and uh, you could tell. You know, the roof was chopped off. The, uh, the interior was missing the back section. Um, and it had corn written on it, so you know somebody uh, was a was a rock star. <laughs> somebody was a uh, was into that heavy metal style, you know. Um, and and it it's kind of ironic because I felt like because of that it, this this car already had like the wasteland vibe to it, right? Um, it had been through something already, you know. So it was perfect for. Uh, a car that got that got scavenged from the side of the road and uh you know was built up in a in a makeshift garage somewhere in the in the backlands of the wastelands right so basically uh i don't know where i go with these things right out of the gate you know it's all part of my build process and like my imagination process when i sit down to build you know i I tend to enjoy these builds a lot more than the ones that are like, you know, strictly to the T, this is what you have to do kind of deal. Um, because when you're trapped in a box, you know, you can only do so much, right? And I like to push my limits. I like to, I like to try new things. I like to, you know, come up with unique vehicles and, uh, and, and broaden my horizons as far as my imagination goes, right? So that's basically what we try to do here. Um, I take this car apart. It's a copyright 1983, so it's a really old matchbox. Um, and there was no restoring this thing. It was already shot. You know, you guys saw the the, the initial start. Um, and I figured if I didn't do this now, th this car was going to get tossed in a box and nothing would ever happen to it. So I needed to give it a second life. Um, Right there, what you see is the pin for the hood that used to be. There was no hood. Um, that's all that was left to it. So, uh, you know, it was kind of interesting when I took it apart and I was like, okay, this is what we have to work with. And these are basically the pieces to the puzzle. Now, I tried a few different wheel setups, um, just, you know, messing around with what I had. And I was like, at the end of the day, I'm like, you know what? We got to go. We got to throw a huge curveball at this thing. A huge curveball. We got to change it up. Because as it sits, just an off-road wheel wasn't going to work, you know. So I had this uh, panel van. It's made by Jada Toys, I believe. And the suspension just basically unscrews, you know. So I didn't want to do this with this truck, but it was the last one that I had sitting around. And I was like, you know what? It's perfect for this giveaway car. I need to, I need to make this thing into something mean and beefy, right? So we did it. We took it apart. We scavenged uh, the, the chassis off of it. Um, I did have to make some modifications to the chassis to make it sit uh, in there perfectly instead of just like flopping off, you know. And then I had this. Uh, th this is actually a suspension setup for a mini monster truck, like a dollar store monster truck type of deal I had found at the thrift store. Um, one one attaches to each side. So what we did was we took some super glue and I clamped it together and I attached it to make it one piece, right? So this is both sides of the truck. We bring it together, make it one piece, and then I go outside and I basically spray bomb everything black uh, with a matte black Rust-Oleum two times, right? Um, the reason why I use this monster truck suspension set it's because when I seen it, I thought electric. I thought Tesla coil, right? Like in Gaslands, there's a there's a sponsor called Michigan, which is basically like futuristic military technology, um, and a lot of it is like uh, electric, right? Electric technology. So basically, what I wanted to do was was add an electric. Uh, gun on the back of this thing um and that's what we did so i go in with uh tamiya weathering kits i wanted to try the the different ones that i had got the rust and the 
and the soot and the you know the dirt whatever um, so I hit it all with that and I liked how it looked but then I made a mistake um, I was trying something new I I've tried to clear coat over this stuff before and it dulls it down and basically disintegrates the powder so I had read that you can use hairspray so I hit it with the hairspray and it bubbled up it, the hairspray must have like uh, some type of coloring or something in it the one that I have from the dollar store so it didn't work out very well so the hairspray was on there I'm like you know what let me just do the paint chipping technique that I learned from cement saw and um, we'll make it we'll make it into that you know sometimes you gotta like try things if it fails you gotta pick up where you left off right so now we got hairspray on top of our our weathered look and I just slap a bunch of this blue paint on there basically let it dry completely and then I go in with a wet brush and chip off spots to make it look like you know the paint kinda failed over time right um, maybe it looks like a three-year-old did it I don't know that's basically what we end up with um, I dry brushed the uh, the dirt on there with uh, apple barrel paints like I usually do and then I dry brush lead belcher onto the gun the electric gun there and I did a little bit of detailing with the blue um, just to you know give it some character right the one thing that I will say is I took the rubber wheels off of this truck while painting and everything I hit it with a little bit of dust uh, uh, the powders but do not clear coat over the rubber because you will never get it to dry it'll always stick to whatever you put it on this is the car that we started out with it's the IMSA Mustang made by Matchbox and this is what we transform it into um, basically like a monster truck type of deal um, we beefed it up a little bit we gave it some uh, you know character and an electric ray gun in the back there and some armor in the front you know to protect the motor or whatever um, I like how it came out you know we detailed it up a little bit and I uh, hope you guys did too now it's time to give it away All right, guys, so we just finished up the road to 900 build. Uh, I wasn't going to use this because it's not moving, but it looks like the car is too low. So uh, We're in the living room today. Uh, my, my station is full of stuff, and the kitchen counter is uh, full of stuff still, too. So I, I just had to, I had to move in here. A little bit of a different setup, and the lights aren't... Um, powerful enough to power this uh this turntable i guess so um anyway it's all good uh we just finished up building this car i hope you guys like what i did with it um it's a the imsa mustang and we we made it into like a monster truck michigan style um gas lander right it's a gas lander so um it was a blind bag giveaway. You guys voted on the bag. I chose what car to build. So what we did was we took the URL from the 900 giveaway video. I plugged it in here. We filter out duplicate users, include replies to comments, and filter comments based on the specific text road to. Now, if you didn't use that those words, then I'm sorry. Uh, there's nothing I could do about it. Um... 68 unique comments that means 68 people participated in this giveaway and i appreciate each and every one of you guys unfortunately only one person gets to take this car home so let's find out who it is good luck guys andrew black <laughs> andrew black wins the road to 900 which is kind of crazy cuz he just won the road to 800. So, you know, he was the backup winner for the road to 800 and now he follows it up back to back and wins the road to 900 giveaway, which is super awesome. And you know, I I I thought about this in the beginning of the uh giveaways, should I allow people to win twice and you know, somebody was like, "Look, man, if they're along for the ride and they're participating in every in every video that you have and like you know why should they be penalized cuz they won you know so i agreed with that and um and and that's what we're going to do we're going to let people win twice cuz why not you know everybody's got the same chance to win on these giveaways so um kind of ironic because i literally just 
shipped out his prize this morning. So <laughs> um, I'll be shipping this one out here shortly. Um, congratulations, Andrew. And now you're going to have a little bit of a JDC team over there at your uh <clears throat> at your place so thanks a lot for everybody that's supporting guys we're over a thousand now we're over a thousand i'm not gonna do a bonus on this one because you know i did a bonus for the last one and i'm doing two cars plus whatever else i decide to do for a thousand so this is a one hitter quitter here and uh you know i appreciate everybody that's along for the ride so that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Congratulations to Andrew, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.